Good morning. It's good, folks. I'm about to get back to reason out loud for Jesus. In Jesus Christ, man. Amen. Isaiah chapter 57. And we're going to do three chapters today. To make up for what we didn't do on the 27th of August. So today is the 30th. We're going to go from Isaiah 57 all the way to Isaiah 60. Stop right there. Y'all right. ready? Let's pray. Glory to God. Glory be to God. We thank you for this opportunity to read your word, which is the mirror reflection of what we have not known, which has been known in front of us the whole time. By the glories of God. Thank you for the opportunity just to be in your midst. Just to be alive and say thank you, Lord. We thank you for that. And we humbly come to you reading your words so it may hit those who need to be in your word and in your will and not outside of it. So, Lord, I pray that with this opportunity to read your word all out, that those who need to be saved will be saved. In Jesus Christ's name, we thank you, Lord. And may they have an understanding you are the God of our creation, not just themselves, but outside of them, everything. All, all things were created for your purpose, not ours. And so, Lord, we thank you for your trinity having its way in us. As we read your word and walk in your will, be glorified, uplifted, and exalted in all your can. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 1. The, uh, will, the title is called God Will Revive the Hump. Okay. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 1. The righteous perish, comrade, right? and no man live it to heart, come. And merciful men are taken away, come, right? and none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. Okay, verse 2. He shall enter into peace, calling they shall rest in their beds, come, right? each one walking in his uprightness. Period. Verse 3. But draw near hither, come, ye sons of the sorceress, come, the seed of the adultery and the whore. Period. Verse 4. Against whom do ye sport yourselves? Question mark. Against whom make ye a wide mouth, come, and draw out the tank? Question mark. Are ye not children of transgression, comma, a seed of falsehood, comma, verse 5, inflaming yourselves with idols under every green tree, comma, slaying the children in the valley under the cliff of the rock, question mark, verse 6, among the smooth thumbs of the stream is thy portion, to come, they, comma, they are thy lot, covenant. Even to them hast thou poured a drink offering, covenant. Thou hast offered a meat offering, period. Should I receive comfort in thee? Question mark. Verse 7. Upon a lofty and high mountain hast thou set thy bed, covenant. Even thither winters thou up to offer Sacrifice. Period. Verse 8. Behind the doors also and the post hast thou set up thy remembrance. Colin. For thou hast discovered thyself to another than me. Colin. And art gone up. Jim Colin. Thou hast enlarged thy bed. Colin. And made thee a covenant with them. Jim Colin. Thou lavished thy bed. Where thou sawest it, period. Verse 9. And thou wentest 
to the king with ointment, come, and didst increase thy perfume, come, and didst send thy messengers far off, come, and didst debase thyself even unto hell. Period. Verse 10. Thou art weary in the greatness of thy weight. Yet sayest thou not, come, there is no hope. Come. Thou hast found the life of thine hand. Come. Therefore, thou wilt not grieve. Period. Verse 11. And of whom hast thou been afraid or feared? Come. That thou hast lied. Come. And hast not remembered me. Come. Nor laid it to thy heart. Question mark. Have not I held my peace even of earth? Come. And thou fearest me not. Question mark. Verse 12. I will declare thy righteousness. Come. And thy works, for they shall not profit thee. Period. Verse thirteen. When thou criest, come, let thy com- let thy company deliver thee. But the wind shall carry them all away. Vanity shall take them. But he that putteth his trust in me shall possess. The land, come and shall inherit my holy mountain. Semicolon, verse fourteen, and shall say, come, cast ye up, come, cast ye up, come, prepare the way, come, take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. Here, verse fifteen, for thus said the high and lofty man that inhabit eternity come whose name is holy I dwell in the high and holy place come with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit come to revive the spirit of the humble come and to revive the heart of the contriteness period verse 16 for I will not contend for ever come Neither will I always be wrought, come. For the spirit shall fail before me, come. And the soul which I have made, period. Verse 17. For the iniquity of his covetousness was I wrought, come. And smote him, come. I hid me, come. And was wrought, come. And he went on forwardly. In the way of his heart. P. Verse 18. I have seen his way and will heal him. Calling. I will lead him also. Come. And we store comfort unto him and to his morning. P. Verse 19. I create the fruit of the lips. Let me call him. Peace. Come. Peace to him that is far up. Come. And to him that is near, come, saith the Lord, Simicot. And I will heal him, period. Verse 20. But the wicked are like the troubled sea, come, when it cannot rest, come, whose waters cast up mire and dirt, period. Verse 21. There is no peace, come, saith my God, come, to the wicked, period. That's the end of Isaiah chapter 57. Whew, now we're going to Isaiah chapter 58. Hold on for a second. Okay. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, come, spare not, come, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, come, and shoo my people their transgression, come, and the house of Jacob their sins. Period. Verse 2. Yet they seek me daily, come, and delight to know my ways, come, as a nation that, that did righteousness, come, and forsook not the ordinances of their God. 
Curry. They asked me the ordinances of justice, Jim Curry. They take the light in the person to God. Period. Verse 3. Wherefore have we fasted, comma, say they, comma, and thou seest now, question mark. Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, come, and thou takest no knowledge? Question mark. Behold, come, in the day of your fire, ye find pleasure, come, and is that all your lips? Please. Verse 4. Behold, come, ye fire for strife and debate, come, and to smite with the fist of wickedness, come. Ye shall not fast as ye do this day, comma, to make your voice to be heard on high, period. Verse 5. Is it such a fast that I have chosen, question mark, a day, a day for a man to afflict his soul, question mark. Is it to, is it to bow down his head as a bulrush, comma, and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him. Question one. Wilt thou call it a fast? Come. And an acceptable day to the Lord. Question one. Verse six. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? Question one. To lose the mind of wickedness. Come. To undo the heavy burden. Come and to let the oppressed go free. Come and that ye break every year. Question mark. Verse 7. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? Come and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house. Question mark. When thou seest the naked, come, let thou cover him. And that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. Question mark. Verse 8. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning coming, and thine help shall, burn, shall spring forth speedily. Cousin. And thy righteousness shall go before thee. Some cousin. The glory of the Lord shall be thy re reward. We we would. That's twice. Period. Verse nine. Then shalt thou call, come and the Lord shall answer. Soon come. Thou shalt cry, come and He shall say, come here I am. Period. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, come the putting forth of the finger, come and speaking vanity. Soon come. Verse ten. And if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, come, and satisfy the afflicted soul, similar, then shall thy light rise in obscurity, come, and thy darkness be as the noonday. Come, verse 11. And the Lord shall guide thee continually, come, and satisfy thy soul in drought, come, and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a watered garden, come, and like a spring of water, come, whose waters fail not. Period. Verse 12. And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places, come. Thou shalt raise up the foundation of many generations, come, and thou shalt be called. Come, the repair of the breach, come, the restore of path to dwelling, period. Verse 13, if thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, come, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, semicolon, and call the Sabbath a delight, come, the holy of the Lord, come, honorable, and shall honor him, comma, not doing thine own way, comma, 
no finding thine own pleasure, come. No speaking thine own words, come. Verse 14. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, come. And I will call thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, come. And feed thee with the heritage of Jacob, thy father, come. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken, period. That's the end of chapter 58 of Isaiah. Okay? Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Welcome back. Here we go. Isaiah chapter 59. This is called uh, God's Chosen Fast. We already read that. Okay. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not short, comma, that it cannot save, semicolon. Neither his ear heavy, comma, that it cannot hear, comma. Verse 2. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, comma, and your sins have hid his face from you, comma, that he will not hear, period. Verse 3. For your hands are defiled with blood, come, and your fingers with iniquity, Jimmy Cullen. Your lips have spoken lies, come, your tongue hath muted perverseness, hath muttered perverseness, period. Verse 4. None call it for just, come, nor any pleaded for truth, come. They trust in vanity. Come and speak lies. They conceive mischief, come and bring forth iniquity. Period. Verse five. They hatch cockatrice's egg, come and weave the spider's web. Come. He that eateth of their egg dieth, come and that which is crushed breaketh out into a viper. Period. Verse six. Their web shall not become garment, come, neither shall they cover themselves with their works, come. Their works are works of iniquity, come, and the act of violence is in their hand, period. Verse 7. Their feet run to evil, come, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Calling. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Semicolon. Wasting and destruction are in their path. Period. Verse 8. The way of peace they know not. Semicolon. And there is no judgment in their going. Calling. They have made them crooked path. Calling. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. Period. Verse 9. Therefore is judgment far from us, come, neither does justice overtake us. Come. We wait for a light, come, but behold obscurity. Come, come. For brightness, come, but we walk in darkness. Period. Verse 10. We grope for the wall like the blind, come, and we grope. As if we had no eyes, Colin. We stumble at noonday as in the night, Colin. We are in desolate places 